What's up everyone and welcome back to our League of Legends Top 5 Play Show. From what I've seen, many of you want me to do a certain introduction, so please relax, enjoy, and sit back this episode of our Top 5 Plays. I think that was the right order. At our number 5 play, we have Bronus on Galio, who at the start is retreating back with his team when Ezreal gets ruptured, so he turns around and cues to slow them down, sticking around to make sure they don't pursue Ezreal, and then trying to help Zed get out alive. The friendly Nunu runs in and uses Absolute Zero to help disengage this losing fight as Zed goes down and the Nunu does shortly after. But then all of a sudden, Galio sees an opportunity and flashes into all 5, dodging Cho'Gath's rupture and landing his ultimate on everyone, somehow turning around a fight that seemed hopeless into a pentakill and ace for his team. Coming in at 4th place is Roddy for Tunnel on Graves, and at the beginning of this play we see him run up to grab the shield and then he engages onto the enemy Ash, bursting her down quickly as she ults him and then Thresh cases are in the box, making escape not an option. As Graves stays back to farm up and heal, his support doesn't lay off on the pressure as he pursues her, zoning her from experience and doing decent damage, then pulling her back in with his Q to continue brawling it out. Sona spots Lee Sin coming in to help her, so she continues to fight Thresh in a 1v1 support battle as we go back down to Graves and see Lee Sin coming in to pick up the kill. He runs into the brush as he chooses to flash into a dash, dropping down solo but managing to quickly burst her and grab the kill as he takes the lantern just in time despite Sona's exhaust to try and secure the kill for Lee Sin. They run away as we see TF start up his ultimate and Lee Sin Ward jumps to go for the sonic wave but TF arrives just in time with the gold card to turn things around on him and after some chasing, Thresh pulls him back in allowing for another gold card stun and kill. Afterwards, Thresh and Twisted Fate chase down the fleeing Vladimir and grab the 4 for 0 exchange under the tower, all thanks to a beautifully played duo lane with quick thinking and a great escape thanks to Thresh. Landing in at our third place spot is I Fortuna on Lee Sin, and we see him making his way towards top lane to try and defend the tower. He jumps onto Jax and E's, hitting both of them with the slow but getting stunned by Jax. He runs back and then sees his clear shot at Evelyn, hitting her with his Q, ulting her away as Jax leaps to him and then activating Resonating Strike to fly away from Jax and grab the kill on Evelyn. He then war jumps through the wall, juking him out as they both run down parallel to each other, and then all of a sudden Jax goes for it and flashes over the wall and pops his E, but Lee Sin quickly slows him and flashes over the wall, turning around the Q back in for the outplay double kill. Coming in at second place is KSG Snipes playing on Kaylin in a high elo game. At the start we see the enemy team heading into Baron as Nunu uses twin shadows to send the ghosts in and give them vision. Kaylin runs straight in and uses her Q, somehow stealing Baron as she gets stunned by Crescendo and Rumble drops the ult on her. Right after the sun ends, she flashes back into a 90 caliber net to get even more distance as she gets healed up and escapes. Afterwards, the team fight ensues and Nunu drops an amazing absolute zero, completely protecting Caitlyn as she sits in the back lines, ripping apart the enemy team as they pull ahead quickly in the fight with three kills for no deaths. She decides to go after Vayne and uses her E to catch up and apply red buff into her ultimate immediately after for their fourth kill as a team. Singe then pursues Sona and grabs the ace as they push mid and then end up winning roughly three and a half minutes later despite being down on kills. And for our number one pro play for this week, we have Vatican Love on Ziggs. At the beginning of this play, we see him pushing mid as the enemy Janna comes to defend, but then all of a sudden, Twisted Fate starts up his ultimate and starts to teleport behind him, but he quickly puts down a charge and knocks him away. Right after, he flash dodges the arrow and regroups with Zin Zhao as TF flashes to stun him but gets a face full of Zin. Out of the stun, Ziggs uses Mega Inferno Bomb in combination with his Q to kill TF and devastate the enemy team. He then uses his E to make them run around to get to him as Janna gets picked up by Zin and then Ash almost immediately after with a bouncing bomb. Afterwards, they chase down Hecarim and right before he gets under the tower, Zin lunges to him as they bring him lower and lower and then MF comes in for the shutdown kill with her ultimate. Ziggs then puts down his minefield to help Zin escape as they get onto Elise but she makes it to her tower and then repels into the air and manages to escape, despite MF's chase. All in all, they walk away from it with a 4 for 0 exchange in mid tower thanks to a masterfully played Ziggs in this sick play. And for the bonus clip of the week, we have Lork on Kale, who escapes a level 1 invade only to have the greatest start anyone could wish for. Thanks for watching, everyone. I really hope you enjoyed week 118 of our League of Legends top 5 plays. And as always, take care and have a great week. Oh. Blue team pentakill.